Ripple factor. When looking at the output of a filter, we find that there is a ripple that occurs due to the filter that looks something like that, depending on the type of filter. Now on this graph, we find a maximum value and a minimum value. So we've got the uh, maximum voltage and the minimum voltage. Now to calculate the nominal voltage, we say that is equal to V max. plus the minimum voltage divided by 2. So what we get there now is that level right there in the middle of the graph. That is my nominal voltage. In other words, it's basically the average value between the top and the bottom of my ripple. The variance refers to the amount that the voltage differs from my nominal value. So to calculate my variance, the variance voltage, I say Vmax minus my nominal voltage. That will now tell me how many, how many volts above and below my nominal value my waveform is represented. In order to calculate my ripple factor, in other words the percentage of the waveform that cannot be used in the continuing stages ripple factor that is equal to my variance my variance voltage divided by my nominal voltage now we multiply this by a hundred so that our answer for this is represented as a percentage in order to effectively use in additional theory.